All right, um, welcome back, everybody. Just doing a workbench video today. Um, wanted to refocus on the historical stuff I have that I need to work on um, that's been neglected for a while. So working on some of these um, Hercabissier, uh for my 17th century imperialists. Um, so just finished this guy. Um, started working on him. Um, something about cavalry, it's always really, um, exhausting to paint. I don't know why, it just is to me. Um, so got him, and I've got quite a few more to do. Um, this is just one, but I've got four more. Um, this is from Warlord, so you get quite a few poses. Uh, and it's the rider's metal, horse's plastic. So, you can get uh, quite a few different pose options. Um, shown these in a previous video, but these are the ones that are finished. Um, and some of them, as you can see, just have sleeves with the cuffs, and some of them have gloves. So. I gave them, um, this is like the command stand, uh, gave, this is, they say in the, uh, box set, it's got the flag cut out. They say this is a, uh, Croatian, um, banner from the 30 years war. So I put that on there. Um, yeah, so these are the ones that are finished. And then another thing I did today was something I've been meaning to do for a while. Um, a lot of miniatures I painted earlier in the year, I had to go back, and my skill level has improved a little bit since then, but um, had to uh, go back and uh, just put some washes on them. Um, so as you can see, uh, my skill has gotten a little bit better um, over the course of this year, but um, yeah, I got some of these Carassier, uh, they've, I've shown them in some videos, I think. Uh, this is one of the El Kraken Ottomans, a Janissary, I uh, just put a little flock in his base, finished him a few days ago. Um, a little dark, uh, it was hard for me to get the highlights on. And, um, what else do we got? Uh, this is a imperialist commander that I need to finish. Uh, as you can see, it's not the best painted uh, right now, so I need to sit down and work on the horse again. Probably paint his clothes again. Um, make this red look a lot better. Um, then, um, let me zoom out a little bit. Uh, I got this uh, Warhammer 40,000 Vindicator uh, off eBay, and it came painted like this. I'm um, not sure if I want to fully repaint it, but um, just for now, what I did was I... The Alpha Legion like to disguise themselves, and this is in Iron Warrior's colors. I'll probably use this for Horus Heresy, so... Um, I chipped some of the paint off and painted the Alpha Legion shiny teal blue um, underneath um, so but I might just end up repainting the whole thing not sure yet um, so that's that uh, and I can use that for Horus Heresy or Warhammer 40k um, and in terms of that stuff, I have been working on more. I don't think this Marine's actually appropriate for Horus Heresy, because uh, he's got the Imperial Eagle, um, but he does have the studs for the Heresy pattern armor. Anyway, um, yep, that's uh, some of the stuff I've been working on. Still got some dwarfs to do. Uh, they're put away right now, because I had a game... Age of Sigmar game the other day. Um, 
Oh, I've also got this Ottoman advisor that I would like to finish. Um, I'm not sure what colors I want to do for him, though. I might just give him some, like, a plain cuff on without a lot of decoration. We'll see, though. Yep, so that's um, my little update. I'm uh, going to keep working on these guys, and, you know, when I finish the whole unit, I'll probably do a little video about them. Um, so, hope you like the short little update. Um, if there's any stuff on, on the channel you guys would like to see, let me know. Any suggestions or requests, and um, thanks for subscribing. We've gotten some new people. I'm glad you liked some of the videos, um, and I will talk to you next time.